Hey guys, so white person loses out to black person for job and says the reason I lost out is because you guys need to fill your diversity quota. And that's what's happened at ESPN. This video you're about to watch is ESPN's Rachel Nichols basically saying that Maria Taylor, a fellow reporter, is only getting the job to host the NBA Finals because she is black and they have to fill their diversity quota. So here is the video. It's not really a video, it's more like a sound recording, but this is her. Have a look. So what do you think of that, guys? Nothing new, right? Because there are pe this only go listen. My wife is black, and she will tell you there's been times she's been passed over for jobs because of the color of her skin. And people will say, well, can you prove it? Well, no, she can't, because she doesn't have an email in which they say, oh, we're passing over you because of the color of your skin. Doesn't have a recording, doesn't have a video or anything like that. But she knows in here it was because of the color of her skin. And she didn't fit the profile of that company or that publication or whatever she was applying for. And videos like this only go to show that it, this is how people often speak. This is often how they think. That, oh, you're only giving that job to the black person because you've got a full diversity quota. Which is so racist, because what you're saying is, you're not giving it to the black person based on their talent, based on the fact that they are gifted and they can do the job. You're just doing it because you just got to fill a quota. Which is wrong. And, and I, I really kind of can't stand this kind of prejudice. But maybe you disagree, but personally, you know, it's the same with me, I've got a weird name. And people sometimes will pass over your job application, look at your name, they go, hmm, never heard of it. What a weird name instant dismissal, you know, that kind of thing. So, you know, this, only, this video only goes to show that often behind closed doors, this is how people think, and they never want to admit it, but we kind of know they do. So there you go. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and you can read more about this on the New York Times website where they've got a whole article about how this particular video has caused a huge fallout at ESPN. Thanks for watching. Bye.